welcome to the f uh, third episode of this series. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make some bursts. I forgot to do that in the last tutorial, I'm sorry. And I'm also gonna be showing you how to make some effects. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So making your composition, name it burst. Burst one, because I'm gonna make multiple ones. And make it make the duration 130. Let me actually clean this up a bit so that I have more space. So you wanna open the proportional grid, go to the middle, add a dot, then uh by pressing shift, add another point at the edge, like after the edge, so that it's out of the screen kinda. I don't know how to say it. Then you wanna add a trim path. Uh, animate the start and end, go 60 frames forward at 1 second, make the start at f uh, 100 and the uh, I mean uh, the start at 50 and the end at 100 then you wanna ease them like that oh frick that you, then you wanna go to the stroke go to 20 frames Animate that, go to the end and make it zero. Then ease them to you. And do that. I'm actually gonna put this at 15. Uh, then you wanna add a repeater. Actually, um, I'm gonna make the end at like 35. Oh. That's because of the repeater. Wait. So basically, make the copies 8 or something, or what, whichever um, number you want. And drag this thing to your copies. Then go here at the start and uh, put in 360 divided by. So this is what you have now. So then you want to duplicate it and off. Uh, frick. Oh my god. Uh, what is it? It's. Yeah, there we go. And just make it white. Then you wanna add a drop shadow. Like 14. Okay. This is your first burst. Uh, then you want to make another one. It's going to be like a curvy one. So basically, do that, add that. Then you want to go here, still pressing shift, add a new point. Then drag that so that the uh, dot is on the middle of your two points. Yeah, so then you want to add a trim pass to that again, as always. Put it at zero, and basically do the exact same stuff. But the same, put it at 50. Then go to this rock again. Go to the end, make this zero. Let me get all of these. Get like everything. Just do that. Hmm, I don't really like that path, but you get what I mean, I think. <laughs> Add a repeater. So I'm gonna make it big. I'm gonna make it like 12. 
as a rotation. I put this at 360 divided by again. I put the position to zero. Then you want to duplicate this and rotate it by 15 degrees. Let me get the code and make it blue. Then add the same drop shadow you added to your other burst. Here's another burst. So simple. I'm gonna make only one more burst three, and this time I'm gonna be making it similar but smaller. So do that, and this time you want to do that path. You can do whatever path you'd like. I'm just showing you some example. I do trim paths as always. You should have learned by now, so you don't really need to follow me. Just make your own path. Put this at 50. Get the stroke. Get to 15 frames. Go to the end, make it zero. Open up all the keyframes, select all of these, and just ease it like that. And I'm gonna be making like like huge but uh, like the path will be smaller so wait what the why does this look hmm hmm Does it look weird to you? Oh, it's because it's a curve. Uh, maybe I could make the sto stroke uh, animation start. There. Did I not? Wait. I'll make it start a bit. That's good. So now I'm just going to show you how to add them in your th things. I always like to add like one every single beat. Even though some people don't really like that. I'm a fan of it. And there's nothing you can do about it. And I always alternate between everything. So basically just add a burst every single beat.
Okay, let me give you a preview of this. I really like this to be honest. I like the colors a lot. And because my composition is f composition is full, I'm just going to make a new comp and name this bursts. Yeah. Then okay, now I'm going to I'm just going to be showing you how to make your sink. Um yeah. So you want to make a new composition, make it start where your uh, whole composition starts. This is so wrong. <laughs> then add a transform to it. It's the uh, YLW bouncer sync, by the way. And put this. So basically, you just want to uh, go to the start, add a keyframe, then go to your your first beat, add a keyframe, make it make the scale at 150. Then by pressing K, just add keyframes on every beat. And at the end, where your whole composition ends, put this at 150. Yeah, and you wanna. Ease, ease them by pressing F9. Go to the value graph and bring them down. If this happens, just pick it again and make sure they're on the corners, by the way. So the lowest ones should be like barely touching uh, down uh, below the thing below this line this line right here and this should be like that and make sure it doesn't go below the thing on the last beat. Okay, once you've done that, you want to add a motion tile to this. Just put it at like 125. You're not supposed to need more than that. If you do, then you should fix your sync. Like, go between the frames to see if there's something. Okay, we're good. Now add an S shake. Let me hide everything re uh, real quick. Then you want to go on your beat. Put the uh, animate the amplitude. Put it to zero, then go one frame forward and put it to one. Then you want to copy these, close the layer, then by pressing K, copy it again on every single beat. Oh my god. And your, the last beat, you want to put this at zero. Then you want to select every single one except of the last one. And put them one frame back so that they're synced. Then you wanna select all of them and uh, press F9 to ease them. Okay, so this is your sync. Let me preview some of it so that you can see how it looks.
Let me just show you this part. Oh, I actually forgot on the S shake. You want the frequency to be 4, not 8. Because it will look so shaky. Yeah, that's basically your thing. So in the next tutorial, I'm just gonna be showing you how to do some effects and maybe the CC. I don't know, the effects take a long time. Okay, so thank you everybody for watching and uh, I hope this helped. See you in the next one.